Welcome to Roland Academy Support Tutorial Video Series Producing Labels and Decals with PerfCut The PerfCut feature in VersaWorks allows you to produce perforated cut lines around labels, decals or box prototypes, making them easily removable from the media. This feature works for both cutters and printer cutters. Perforations are created by alternating cutting pressure between a higher value called perforation pressure, which should be just enough to cut through the liner, and a lower value or normal pressure to cut only through the vinyl. This animation simulates the blade movement on a perf cut job where a 2 inch line is cut with a pressure of 170 gram force, followed by a 0 0.02 inch line cut with a pressure of 50 gram force. Installing or creating the PerfCut Swatch Library PerfCut Swatch is not included in the standard swatch libraries provided with VersaWorks. Please download the library from our support site. Go to rolanddga.com, select Support, Technical Support Wizard, and click on VersaWorks, and select Software Updates. And click on Roland Swatch Libraries for Illustrator to download these swatches. Click Save. Uh, save to your desktop. Hit Save. Once it's downloaded, right click and select Extract All. Click Extract. Open the folder that you just extracted. Select all the library files, click Copy, and go to Program Files, Adobe, Adobe Illustrator Presets, Swatches, and right click and select Paste. If you see this message, select Copy and Replace, and hit Continue. If you are using CorelDRAW X5, select the library PerfCut Swatch Library for CorelDRAW X5. Click Save. Save onto Desktop. Right-click on the file and select Extract All. Extract. Right click on the XML file, select Copy, and navigate to Documents, My Documents, My Palettes, and right click and select Paste. Creating a perf cut path around your labels and decals. We will now show how to use the PerfCut Swatch in Illustrator. Open your design and go to Window, Swatch Libraries, select Roland VersaWorks. Let's change the view to List View. You can see that a new swatch called PerfCut Contour is available. Let's select a rectangular shape. Draw a shape around your design and apply the swatch PerfCut Contour to the stroke of your shape and set the fill to No Fill. In this design we have both Cut Contour and also PerfCut Contour. Let's save the file as an EPS, selecting Save As and select the EPS format Enter the name, click Save, and click OK. If you are using CorelDRAW X5, open your design, go to Window, Dockers, Color Palette Manager, select My Palette, and make the VersaWorks PerfCut library visible. Draw a shape around your object. 
drag and drop this swatch perf cut contour on the stroke of the shape that you want to cut. Go to File, Export, select EPS, enter the file name, and click Export. In the EPS Export window, make sure the option Convert Spot Color to is unchecked and click OK. Adjusting the cutting pressure for contour cut and perf cut. Before adjusting the cutting pressure, remove the blade holder from the printer cutter and turn the nose cone to adjust the amount of blade extension. The blade should extend just enough to cut through both the film and the liner. Excessive pressure and blade extension may wear the blade and the cutter protection strip faster, so always have spare blades and cutter protection strips and replace them when needed. Now let's download the PerfCut test file from Roland's website. Go to rolanddj.com, select Support, Tech Support Wizard, VersaWorks, Sample Files, and download the PerfCut test file. Click Save, Save on the Desktop, right-click on the file and select Extract All, click Extract. So now drag and drop the test file in VersaWorks. Double-click on the file to open Job Settings. Go to Cut Controls. Select Cut Only. You can see that a section named Perforated Cut Controls is displayed when this test file is loaded. This section defines the parameters for perf cut operation and controls the perforation pressure and defines the length of segments that will use normal or perforation pressure. With perf cut, it is important to control everything from VersaWorks, so let's check the Enable Advanced Settings, adjust the cutting speed and pressure. This pressure is the cut counter pressure, which is also the normal cut for perf cut. Adjust the blade offset according to the blade you are using. In perforated cut controls, set the normal pressure length to 0.02 inches. This will correspond to tabs that will keep your labels or decals on the media. Set the perforation length to 1 inch and the perforation pressure. Start with a value around 150 gram force if you are using 45 degree blade and vinyl with paper liner. Close job settings and click print. Check the output and verify if the pressure settings are correct. You should be able to remove the square piece completely from the media and remove the round piece of vinyl without removing the center square. If the settings are incorrect, go back to job settings, cut control and adjust the settings. Take note of all cutting settings once you have it working correctly. Setting the job in VersaWorks for output. Load the job in VersaWorks. The special items icon will tell you whether VersaWorks has detected the cut lines. You should see one icon for normal cut, which is the cut counter, and another icon for perforated cut. Open job settings and go to layout. Adjust the layout settings such as size and number of copies as needed. In Job Preview, you should be able to see cut counter lines as a red line and perf cut as a gray line. Go to Print Quality and select the media and print quality for your job. And finally, go to Cut Controls. Check the option Enable Advanced Settings and enter the cutting parameters that you have determined in the previous section. Let's go back to Layout Settings and change the number of copies and also the size of the job.
Click OK to close job settings and click print to print your job. Your job will be printed and then cut. In today's example, the pink line has been defined as a counter cut line and it will be cut using the following settings. The gray line has been defined as a perfect cut line and will be cut using the following settings. This concludes our tutorial for today. Thank you for joining us.